Hi friends. So today I wanted to do a little walkthrough of a illustration project going basically from start to finish. Um, so at this point I've already sent sketches over and I'm drawing out the final art on illustration board. This is an assignment that I got for the Philadelphia Inquirer and it was the uh, full page illustration for the season opener this year for the uh, Phillies. So I've been drawing things out in kind of a green color pencil and then what I like to do is go over again in a, a darker blue to kind of define edges. And um, <clears throat> I've already sketched things out kind of roughly beforehand, but um, this is to just sort of solidify things and make sure that as I'm working, I can still see some of the really important things. Then once the drawing is finished, I'll go outside and I'll spray the whole illustration board with workable fixative, which essentially makes it so that when I add color over top, nothing smears, I can still see the drawing underneath. And uh, even by the end, you'll be able to see some of the color pencil come through, um, which is an effect I like, especially especially in a lot of the shadows. So the way I kind of work is I put down a mid-tone color, and for this it's sort of a paler magenta, and then I go from the background to the foreground. So I'm starting with some of the colors that I know the clouds are going to be, some of the um, sort of maroon colors that I know are going to appear in the water. And then I go over some of the line work again, and um, I don't like using just straight up black for the line work at first. I like to try to make the colors cohesive. So in this instance, I knew I was gonna work with a lot of reds, a lot of kind of cream colors, and I knew that that maroon was gonna come in in a lot of spots. I did a little bit of a color study beforehand to figure this out, but in general, I was looking at some of the Phillies uniforms and I felt, I felt that those colors would um, work well kind of all over. Now at this point, I'm adding highlights, I'm kind of going around to make sure some of the really defined edges make their appearance and are very visible from further away. So this is gonna print at about 10 by 20, but the original work is a little closer to 20 by 30, and I always work larger than what the print size will be if it's something that's gonna be published. Now it's time to peel off the tape. And here's a zoom out of the original piece next to the approved sketch over there on the left. And here's an image of what it looked like when it went to print. A real fun assignment, hope you enjoyed.